Good morning, Nick. Welcome to Bilbao. There she is, the anthem in all her beauty. And uh, over there is the uh, Guggenheim Museum. Oh my god, we're getting faster. Is it protected? I can't do it. I cannot get my mouth <laughs> off. Squish it. Squish it. Welcome to the next day of the cruise. We are just docked in Bilbao in Spain. Um, it looks very grim and murky out there, unfortunately. Um, but you remember every YouTube video we've ever watched is this here as well. <laughs> a little bit grim. Uh, we're gonna go out and explore. I'll just show you out on the balcony what it looks like at the moment. So that's where we've docked. That's the state of the sky at the minute. Apparently it's set to be like that all day. Looks to be some planes coming down over there, so there must be an airport. Um, so it's a little bit uh, chilly as well. Green hills over there. So uh, I think we might need to take a hoodie. So Old Town is... You see the planes Pink. coming down? Yeah. I think Old Town is about 30 minutes in that direction, okay. somewhere. So we've got to go and get a transport again. Yeah, it's 10 euros apparently for a bus. I'm hoping they'll take credit card because we have no cash. Good morning. Good morning, Nick. Good morning. <laughs> I bought you a present. That's some kind of... Well <laughs> doll. Oh, my shirt. <laughs> Now I see the relevance. Oh my god. <laughs> now I see the relevance. <laughs> what the frig? Oh, there you go. Oh, look at your face. So Matt's got a, uh, what a tool. shirt on with Nick's face on. Best thing you'll ever <laughs> wear. Where did you get that done? Just on water. Mm, not and, bad for you. and the pink flamingo to go with it. I thought it was sex time when he walked in. <laughs> Right, we've made our way down to the uh, dining room for breakfast. American Icon Grill. American Icon Grill, just about to order some breakfast, and then um, it was a, it was a, it was a proper strain trying to get Lee to come down here. He didn't want to come down. I'm, I'm looking forward to pinchos today in Bilbao. Well, don't eat much then. Welcome to Bilbao. Right, so Tracy and Neil went ahead of us. They've radioed back, well, WhatsApp back, saying that it's uh, 10 dollars, 10 euros return fare. They set cash only, so no cards. We've had to go back to guest services and draw 50 euros out, which is actually minimum 50 euros. And there's also a 6.95 withdrawal fee as well. So if you are planning to do this, it's probably better to bring your own euros so you don't have to pay the extortionate rates on the cash machine. So we're off to get the, uh, the bus now. At the time of filming this, you still have to wear masks in Spain on public transport, so uh, we're on our way to Bilbao. So we're in a uh, we're in the terminal building, which is very swanky. It's almost like an airport yeah. terminal, isn't it? Definitely a little bit more upmarket than the one we were in yesterday. Looks very much like a Spanish airport. There's loads of booths that say passport and salada and whatnot. So apparently you've got to buy your tickets in this building and then go out to the shuttle bus. Right, Mark's gone to get the tickets for the shuttle, so we need to make sure that the um, we get the last one back, 3.45. We should be fine, we did all the sites yesterday, there's a little bit less sites today, but the, um, the places where we're actually going to visit are a bit further apart. There she is, the anthem in all her beauty. It's unbelievable how huge it is, isn't it? Not the stars up. Yep. Right, so I presume this is where we go to catch the bus, we're just following everybody else. A lot of these on the left-hand side here are excursions, but... Um, I presume where, where the mass crowds are going is where we actually use this ticket that Mark's just grabbed. He's got his mask on backwards, but never mind. And uh, we're gonna get on. Come on. Come on. Right, so this journey's probably gonna take us around 35 minutes, according to um, the guys in the, the port depending on traffic and then uh, when we get there we are going to get the Google Maps out that we basically put all the places together and one of the stops is the Guggenheim Museum which is where James Bond um, The World Is Not Enough was filmed with Pierce Brogman so we're going to check that out definitely we're going to go up the cable car have some Pintos what else? Pinchos Pinchos what else? It's tapas It's not tapas not Tapas it's Pinchos Oh we've explained this to Mark a million times Pinchos is basically um, something served on bread that's spiked Very small Very small
just heading down to the Guggenheim Museum to have a look at that. It was designed by a guy called Frank something or other. Gary. <laughs> Gary. Uh, who also designed the Disney um, concert hall in LA. LA. This is why when you see it, you'll actually understand why he designed it, because they look very similar. <laughs> There's a big dog made of uh, flowers. And uh, over there is the uh, Guggenheim Museum. Oh, it's so nice. Very Instagrammable. <laughs> right, so this place was... Um, what, is, what year did I say it was open? 1997, 1997, yeah. And as you can see, it looks very much like the uh, Disney Concert Hall in LA. Have a look at that. Ta-da! So the opening times are there for anybody that wants, um, is intending on visiting here. 11 till 7. Monday closed in July and August, open Monday through Sunday, so seven days a week in the peak season. And there it is in all its glory. Would look a lot better, I'm sure, in the sunshine, but unfortunately it's a bit of an overcast day today. So you can actually walk around the back of the Guggenheim Museum and then down to the back by the river and then you've got the spider there and then the uh, the steam. I wonder if Masha would be scared to death of that. She used to be scared to death of spiders, didn't she, when we went to um, Bugs Life. It's, uh, it's tough to be a bug in uh, Animal Kingdom. She was terrified, wasn't she? Right, so we've just made our way from the Guggenheim Museum and we're gonna go down these stairs, all this lift here, to walk along the river. Do you know where we're going? We're going to a bridge. Very good. A very the nice Zubazori bridge. Zubazori Bridge, I think it's pronounced that. Oh, well, I, I'm leaning on it, so... This is a bit cosy, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Mark's right, breaking yeah. it. So is Hannah, actually, as well. <laughs> Opening in 1997, the bridge's unusual design consists of a curved walkway which is supported by steel suspension cables from an overhead arch the structure of the bridge is painted white and the bridge deck consists of transparent glass bricks and access ramps and stairways are located on both sides of the banks. Right, so we're on the Zubazuri Bridge. So it's a pedestrian walkway. Struggling. <laughs> we just, just come up all those stairs um, that connects like a lot of the hotels to the other side for the Guggenheim Museum. I'm making my eyes go funny. Turn the camera around and, and film that. It's. Uh, yeah. And it's like a carpeted deck with glass bricks as yeah. well, as we said. Right, we're now heading to the cable car, which I can't pronounce. Artizakado Funicular. Artizandi. Yeah, cable car. So we were just saying, yesterday we were walking around France, today we're walking around Spain, and we have literally only got and walked onto our ship and it's the ship that's moved it's a very strange thing if you've not cruised before yeah that your hotel moves it's and you don't it's a great way to experience different cultures different countries without actually packing up yeah yeah you just unpack once and, and one you have to get on no planes unless you yeah. fly to somewhere to get on a cruise and the one thing that i've noticed about um this part of spain particularly is it's it's very green yeah it's almost like the uk it's because it's the north northern spain yeah. so they get quite a lot of rain i guess so it's very green yeah. here it's almost like the the trees at home in the summer it's more green than than your typical holiday resorts in spain that's can tends to be like white buildings the architecture here is very different to your typical spanish yeah, architecture yeah. right we're just coming up to the um the cable car train station. Can you pronounce it yet, Nick? Uh, Lee? No. The Funicular de Artisander. It's got an X in it, so I can't pronounce it. Zander. You pronounce that Zander, oh. as in Zander from Buffy and the Vampire Slayer. So this, this cable car actually literally takes you up under this building, right up to the top of the mountain, and there's like a park at the top from what we've done when we've done the research. So um, this should be quite interesting. Right, so tickets are um, single ticket, two euros fifty, or return for four euros thirty, and you can also do it online. Tickets got. Let's go. There it is. It looks like it's been open since 1915, and at the moment you've still got to wear a mask. But you do on public transport in Spain at the minute. Yeah. Right, it's hard to see at the moment because of the reflection of the light, but you can see the tunnel that goes up and the lights at the end. Faster. 
Right, we're just walking up to the famous Bilbao red sign, which is actually about 400 yards long. When you look at it on videos, it actually looks like it's just in one area. But this view here now should give you a fantastic view over the city, and I'm sure it'll be a, a little bit. Yeah, it has. Well, we are kind of higher in the clouds, really. I need a nice Spanish coffee then. I need something. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I don't even know where to stay first. There's that much. So you can see the Guggenheim Museum down there where we've just been. The tower, the office block tower, 514 feet. And then a lot of terracotta roofs out down there, which is typical of um, Spain and France. But look at that. Can you imagine what that looks like on a summer's day? Or on an evening. Or on an evening, yeah. cable car heading down there back down into the town for some pinchos for some pinchos <laughs> wikipedia has um, come in invaluable again so some of the technical data to just find on wikipedia for this is the, the total route is 770 meters the height is 226 meters the um the gradient is 44.98 percent which is basically like almost a right angle not a right angle half a right angle um, carries up 70 people, it takes 3 minutes and travels at 5 meters per second. Just passing Bilbao City Hall, or Bilbao should I say. Uh, a bit of a pr protest going off there, I'm not sure what it's about because I can't read it. On our way to Old Town now to get some pinchos and a drink. The protesters are having a sing song. I don't know whether you can hear it or not. Mark's singing Small World because he said it sounds like it. Right, we're getting into Old Town now. So we're going to somewhere for some pinchos, which is a Bertons. little like tapos, but smaller, isn't it? Pinchos basically means pierce. So everything is basically usually on bread with something in and it's got a cocktail stick in it versus tapas, which is usually loose in a dish. Yeah. So very similar. choosing what we want from the cabinet. The smells are amazing. So I'm getting a beer, Lee's getting a long coffee, and then we'll explain what these are when we get to the table. Right, we've got our food, our little pinchos. So we've got three um, sort of on bread, and a couple more on bread with our um, so is that, toothpick in. Is that like a potato Spanish omelette? Yeah, and we've got Mark wolfing mm. down this. Mark's got paella. Paella. And this is, I think, is cod with yeah. cheese. I really want to try this. It looks like, um, Sort of like a, what do you call them? Like a crab stick? It looks like it's got some kind of sweet jam on it. A rich seafood dip. Which one are you going to try next? I'm going to try this one. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what most of it is, to be honest, but um, Pretty angry. we'll give it a go. Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet. What's the pile of like? Delicious. Amazing. Absolutely it looks delicious. really good actually. So good. What's that? Tuna? Mm. Tracy got her like a tuna omelette. Yeah. Back. Nick's back. So they have a restaurant over the way. Mm. Um, their, their car machine here is not working, so I had to nip across there. So I just said to the lady, what if I want a dessert? Is there an ATM close by? And she says yes. So when we want something else, I'll just nip out and get some cash. Right, Lee's well, going to try the second one. Is this a mushroom and bacon? Or oh, ham, 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 I think, yeah. I'm still eating my, um, I think it was cod mm. and fish with um, like a jam on it. It was delicious. Yeah. Is that good? Oily, nice. The one that was like crab sticks, beautiful. That was my favourite one so far. 
The hardest bit about this is getting them all in your mouth at once. I'm sure you won't struggle. Um, they're so fluffy and light, these I can actually feel the cheese when I've just pulled the stick out and the cheese is kind of gooed out, so I'll give it a go. Is it potato? I can't pocket? do it. I cannot get my mouth <laughs> open. Squish it. Just get Squish it. Mm. So Mark's ordered a sausage. The camera's focusing on my face on his shirt continually. Best sausage you've ever had. I reckon we can recreate that a lot. Easily. Is it just like a tortilla with um, chorizo? Literally, yeah. Uh, right, go on, Hannah. Is it like a soft oh, chorizo or is it like a crispy one like to get at home? It's gonna burn my mouth. No, it's actually not bad, but it's really nice. Take a crispy bit. A chorizo always does. Is it spicy and garlicky and... Yeah. Go on then, try it. No, no, I don't want to try it. I'm saving myself for the next one. So we just had our pinchos in Burton Cafe there, and we're now Cabrera. heading to the plaza. But Nick wants to check out the desserts in Jardin. There are so many cafe places, and this one just has to take the biscuit. Well, not the biscuit, the bun. Look wow. at that. It's like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man in a pastry. And look at that, it's like French toast with like puff cream in it. Look at that one. This, I have no idea what it is, whether it's a loaf of bread or a big meringue. But we're not going there, we're going to the plaza. Well, they have something like that there. Right, we're now in a place called Plaza Barria, I believe it's pronounced. All my pronunciations are probably completely wrong. So the second place that we were going to come and eat was this place here called Toma Ya... Tom... Toma Ya Daka. Daka yeah. um, which is basically more Pintos. If you have a look around, Lee will just show you in the counter. Um, we wanted dessert, but there's no desserts in here, so we're going we're gonna to mooch on and try and find somewhere else. But this is obviously an alternative to Burton, if you, if you don't like that kind of place, or you want something a little bit bigger and more choice. Tiramisu for me, cinnamon, cinnamon for Nick, uh, chocolate vene for Mark, and yeah. a chocolate brownie for Hannah, yeah. and a cup of tea, and all that was 11 euros. 11 that is euros. insanely cheap. So many different pinchos uh, options in this plaza. The whole of Old Town is literally yeah. pinchos, pinchos, pinchos. Yeah. My tiramisu cake as well, what we just had, was amazing. I had a cinnamon um, bread bun which wasn't sickly, but it was very filling because it was just all dull. I love just mooching around here. There's a lot of um, trash and garbage, but it's yeah. very, well, Spanish, isn't it? It's, oh, it's, a very, it's, it's Italian bistro, almost, isn't it's it? It's bistro. It's almost like it was in La Rochelle yesterday, yeah, yeah. actually. Lots of just eating places, and yeah. there is like quite a lot of graffiti, though, as well. But, well there um, is also, Spain. Oh, my God, there's even a cheese shop. Look at the size of that cheese. It's as big as Hannah. <laughs> is that seriously cheese? Yeah. Oh my god. It's got a bit of string out, isn't it? Can you go in and try it? Right, we've just found another plaza and we were just saying these balconies look like Romeo and Juliet. And look who stood underneath them over there. Mark the dock. And then right behind me is the uh, Bilbao Cathedral. Looks quite filled up in the frame at the minute because I'm stood that close to it but um, it's six euros to get in there for a look around. I'm kind of on the mooch now just kind of winding down and then probably going to get a glass of wine somewhere sat outside a restaurant and then uh, head back towards the boat. I wonder if there's like the um, LGBT area of town since all the flags are all LGBT. One thing, one other tool that we've been using while we've been here is Google Lens, uh, which is now integrated into the search bar on Android. And if you click the little photo symbol and then click switch to your camera, take a picture of a building 
and it searches on Google and tells you what it is. I think this is going to be the Opera House. So it's the Teatra Irega, whatever that is, which is, let's look it up. Um, according to Wikipedia, it's a theatre. So yes, oh, Spanish Opera House, I knew it was. I can just tell from the look. Right, we'll just Google lens in this. Museum. It's a piece of art, yeah, so it's, it's part, part of the museum. museum. Yeah, it doesn't actually explain what this thing is, but just, oh wait a minute, here we go. It's called the Guggenheim Museum. Yeah, so it's just part, it's just of, the part of the Guggenheim Museum. museum. And uh, I can see Mark in the I distance. I think it's Buffalo Architecture and History. Okay, and we're heading towards the spider at the side of the Guggenheim. So there's a giant spider. The Guggenheim is closed on Monday, so we uh, can't go in today. This is called yeah. the uh, Maman. The spider? The giant spider. It's called the Maman sculpture. It looks very much like the thing from Stranger Things. It looks, it actually looks like something from War of the Worlds with Tom yeah. Cruise, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, we're back on board and we're just setting sail for our next destination and um, just see all the mist on the hills up there. So we've not been going for too long. Right, we're all ready and dressed for the evening. We're going to head up to Hannah and Mark's room to have a glass of vino. Hello! Um, and then we're going to head down to one of the main dining rooms, probably the... Hello! American diner, American icon. American diner. Again. Well, I ain't going to American diner. American That's Johnny Rocket. Whatever. Um, there is on the menu tonight wild mushroom risotto. I think I'm going to be partaking in that. Barring, I'm having short rib. So come on, let's go up and don't forget to take Mark's flamingo back. Hello. Right, time for lunch, dinner, evening tea, Stop whatever it. you want to call it. We're at the American icon again because we don't like silk over there. It's very dated. Hannah and um, Lee, I'm just, just remembering your name there. We've had um, a few drinks, pre-dinner drinks, and um, these guys have been hiding jellyfish all oh, over the ship. Let's have a look at them. Little wool. Apparently, there's a thing the on right cruises. There's a little Wait thing a on, on cruises Excuse where me, I'm speaking you myself. Um, hide ducks, ducks, like little rubber ducks, but like uh, bath ducks. Tracy and Faith decided to knit their own little. They, they've upped it one. They upped the ante, so it's knitted jellyfish. <laughs> So right, while we were waiting more. for these guys to turn up, we actually found it on a sign. <laughs> Hannah's getting a collection. <laughs> oh my so god! Is no. there any left for anybody else? No. So if you've been on the anthem and found any of these, these guys. This is them. They, they knitted them. So um, there and we I go. I think Neil knitted a few as well. <laughs> it looks the type. <laughs> right, we've been allocated our table. We're mixing it up tonight so we can all kind of be social and um, and what have you. So Lee's sitting over there, so I don't have to talk to him. And I'm sat opposite that. Oh. Right, so Hannah's decided that she's definitely going to try snails tonight. There's nothing on the menu that we're going to try and broaden Neil's palate with, is there? No. It's all stuff he likes, so we're going to we're going to default that one until tomorrow night. Uh, but Hannah's going to try snails. Hopefully, she doesn't spit it into a napkin like Tracy did last no, time. I, no, I was really sick. What? Well, we had those welts, so I was sick into my hands. Well, you were spat, you spat it out. Yeah. Well, you better get you better get your napkin ready then. <laughs> Right, Hannah. Help yourself. We'll try and make yours you dig, here. For a, dig for a hole. Thank you. So Hannah's got uh, snails for the first time. Apologies there for the uh, the one. lighting. Oh, it just does this on, on here. Oh, God. Okay. Nice, aren't they? Yeah, it's nice. Right, Mark. Mark. Your turn. Oh, that Your turn, Mark. No, don't be a wuss. That woman. Are you sure, Mark? Yeah, fine. Why? What's wrong with you? I'm oh, alright. I'll have some bread. It's just snails. They're not your typical. One. They're not your garden snails. They're just snails. They're just like mushrooms, aren't they? Exactly the same. Good. Glad you enjoyed them. Just reprogram your mind. Think broader. I'm alright. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. Desserts here: chocolate uh, mudslide, lemon, lemon meringues, mm. all round by the looks of it. Oh, Hannah's got a creme brulee. That is divine. The, cre the it's lemon. Very tart in, and it's almost got cinnamon in it as well. Mm. It's really nice. Right, we're back from our meal, and we're just going to get changed into our swimming stuff and go up into the hot tub in the solarium. I'm going to leave the camera here. We're just going to enjoy the evening. Might take the GoPro. We're busting. Oh. 
Yeah. We've got a... Uh, They're a dog. A first little dog, little um, towel Although, art. It actually looks more like a chicken. Oh, shit, it's head dropped off. Oh, for freak's sake. It looks like a chicken, though. Come on, let's Doesn't get it? a swim, Stefan. Come on, then. Nice blue moon. Yeah, we're just discussing how we're going to do tomorrow. I don't know whether there's water in the mic, but uh, we're just discussing how we're going to do tomorrow. So we're probably going to skip breakfast on the ball, sorry, on the ship, and then uh, have breakfast in a, an omelette place at La Rochelle yeah. whilst we hide the scooters. Yeah. Behind your breasts. Here they are. I've got a fruity wine. Lovers in the hot tub. Cheers. <laughs> don't disturb us. Come on, get in, you two. I've eaten too much dessert. No, it's well, you fruit, had fruity wine. Excuse me, you kept ordering them. You had four desserts. You said you were having none. So we're currently dolphin spotting. There's literally been a school of dolphins, maybe a couple of hundred in the last 10, 15 minutes. And they're, they're, they're playing in front of the wake of the ship down here. Call to them, Hannah. In your mind. in the room we spent the last two hours in the solarium watching the dolphins. watching the dolphins Hannah says she's one of the best live nights of her life she was crying her eyes out watching the dolphins <laughs> but they were I don't think they were dolphins you know I think they were porpoise whatever because we were quite far away and they looked pretty small and porpoise looks very similar to dolphins so hope you've enjoyed today guys um, we've loved it we've got La Corona tomorrow is it called La Corona where's the um, oh it's there La Corona. La Corona. Spain. So we have got, it's a very small port and probably something we're not going to spend a lot of time on, but we are going to go visit. There's a restaurant I want to visit called uh, Malty. Gangway is open at 8.30 a.m. We will be sleeping at that time. So um, we are going to finish the vlog now, guys. So if you are new to our channel, please, please click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell. Uh, leave us a comment below with your comments and um, we're going to bed because we're so tired. See you in the next vlog. Bye.